What you're looking at, ladies and gentlemen, might become the benchmark for electric luxury SUVs around Accra when it hits Indian showrooms sometime in 2026. This is the all-new Mercedes-Benz GLC Electric, which isn't just a zero-emissions version of the GLC. It debuts an entirely new EV architecture from Mercedes-Benz, one that's not tied into any ICE legacy. That makes it quite different from the EQC it effectively replaces. Where the EQC was a heavily reworked GLC in drag, the new GLC is an electric-first SUV, sharing little more than a badge and a general silhouette with its combustion sibling. The GLC Electric wears the same posh, upright stance you would expect from a mid-sized Mercedes SUV. But the twist is the iconic illuminated grille with 942 animated polycarbonate dots, its tech theatre at the front and LED star fireworks at the back. Inside, the cabin is unmistakably S-Class inspired. The showpiece is the optional 39.1-inch MBUX hyperscreen, now wider and slicker than ever. It wraps the driver, central and passenger displays under one single curved pane. For those keeping count, this is the biggest screen ever fitted to a Mercedes. That's Mercedes-Benz playing to its strengths. Dedicated 800-volt electric architecture that enables 330 kilowatt DC fast charging. That's 0 to 300 kilometers in under 10 minutes. And massive range claims too, 713 on a WLTP cycle, nearly double of what the EQC offered. And there's much better packaging with up to 570 litres of boot space, 128 litres of trunk and rear seat space that's boosted by 47 millimetres. It's also bi-directional charging ready, which means vehicle to home and vehicle to grid compatibility are on board. And the MBOS is AI powered, which learns your habits, routes and preferences like a digital butler. This is no longer a GLC that's been given an electric motor. It's a tech-led rethink of the electric SUV formula with learnings from the EQC and the other models folded in. And a whole lot of cleverness layered on top. It's got a new MBUX powered by Microsoft and Google, so the voice assistant has a more context-based reply. And the MBOS chip-to-cloud system is like your vehicle's digital nervous system which will manage sensors, apps, updates and even ride quality. Even the passenger screen now is profile aware with new generation facial recognition and digital key sharing. The hyper screen gets the Unity game engine graphics and then there is the sky controlled panoramic roof with 162 illuminated stars. Expect the GLC Electric to debut in India by mid-2026, starting with the GLC 400 formatic, which will give you all-wheel drive and a two-speed transmission for better overall efficiency. More affordable single motor variants are likely to follow. Local assembly is possible as well, depending on the demand. And if they get the pricing right, somewhere between the iX3 and the Q6 e-tron, it could very well be the EV that moves the needle in 